Hey everyone, so if you've been following me, you know I've been playing Final Fantasy VII every Sunday and Thursday in celebration for the remake coming out. But yet again, Mixer lost my stream, or rather just didn't let me stream. So here's what I did in that time, so you're all cut up. Spent a lot of time leveling up, but didn't have a lot of choices for enemies, except these Russian nesting doll egg things. Talk about that more later. Anyway, uh, we find an old guy who says he saw a man in a black cape running in the exact direction we were going. Hashtag layer gameplay. Where we run past a Mako reactor, play a mini, mini game on a railroad bridge, uh, see some chuggable babies, don't steal their treasure, and take this long bridge to a shanty town whose villagers hate Barrett, aka Mr. T. Uh, Barrett gives us a flashback of how he's somehow responsible for the destruction of his village. And then we take a trip to Gold Saucer, where, uh, they want me to pay a shit ton of money to go in and out whenever I feel like it, but I didn't want to put a ring on it, so I paid for the one time. Anyway, Aerith wants to go play while Barrett pouts, and that's where we meet a fortune teller, who I wanted to give a clever name to, but I couldn't think of one. Anyway, he uh, gives us some cookie, fortune cookie shit and tells us that we're going to get what we want, but lose someone dear in the process. He forces his way into our party, where we go exploring and find more death, but we know it wasn't Sephiroth because he cuts fools. And these were these folks were the result of a drive-by. Management kicks us out of Chili's to Applebee's, I mean prison, where we find Barrett, some scumbags, and then the guy who likes to follow us around like we're alone in a dark alley. Uh, Barrett goes into further detail about his demise of this village, uh, the reactor that was built, where uh, we find out that Barrett, Scarlet is responsible for Barrett having to choke his chicken with his left hand and dying a little more dying. Or so we thought. Uh, we have to explore the desert correctly until we find Dine insane and wanting to destroy the world. But we had to hurt him because we're already chasing one of those. And in a moment, Dine has some clarity, gives Barrett a warning. And uh, Dine does, well, a little more dying. Uh, we talked to some mafia looking guy, tell him we went back into Chili's, he says fine, but we gotta get our order to go and race Chugabos. That's where we meet Esther, uh, and some Chugabo jockeys. Uh, we eventually get into the race, win the race, get a letter from the Chili's management apologizing for the mix up, and we get a gift card to come back later. And that's about where we're at now. I wanted to thank uh, Zenomic uh, for your video walkthroughs, I had to borrow your screenshots from there, so everyone please give him a follow. And I'll give you see you Sunday, where hopefully Mixer decides to work.